everyone, this is Ross, and in today's video, we're in the greenhouse. Um, just an important little thing that I'm doing here is that I've moved a number of my very late varieties here in the greenhouse because the season's pretty much ending here in Pennsylvania. We're in October now, and not only are we in October, but the temperatures are getting much colder outside, um, especially at night. And because these nighttime temperatures and even the daytime temperatures are so cool, uh, the amount of days it takes for these figs to be perfectly ripe is just a crazy long amount of time. You know, let's take black Madeira as an example. Um, this fig could take, let's say, from this green stage here to this fig, which is still not even perfectly ripe because it's split, but I'm going to pick it anyway uh, because it is split. But, uh, you know, I would say from this stage to perfectly ripe is about six, seven, maybe even eight days. Um, but now that it's it's colder outside, black Madeira doesn't seem as affected uh, as the colder nights, but it definitely slows down that process. So instead of six days being perfect, it's definitely more along the lines of eight days or maybe even nine days. Um, and it really depends on the genetics, depends on the fig that you're growing here. But I think overall, when the temperatures dip down, it's just a better idea in general just to get them in a warmer environment. The warmth is really, really important. Even when you're sacrificing some sunlight to get these remaining figs here ripe. And you can see Sandrosa, this is Sandrosa. It has a really just abundant harvest, but I've only harvested a couple figs off of here. And you can tell figs like Black Madeira, UC Davis, figs like Sandrosa, we have a Rubato back in here. That's, you can see some of them are getting ripe. We have a Babera Bronca over there. Um, here's in his mirror that I'm actually gonna pick very soon. Um, these figs, for whatever reason, I mean, I don't think all of them are super, super late, but the majority of them are late figs. Here's a Coldadom Grease, and they just take a while. They really do. Without this greenhouse in the beginning of the season and at the end of the season, you just won't really get a whole lot of figs. You won't get the greatest quality. In fact, if I didn't have the greenhouse, I would probably get some figs off cold and grease as an example, but it wouldn't ripen um, probably even now. It would probably ripen at the very end of the season, uh, which is even colder, and it just would be a total disaster. The quality wouldn't be that great. It's just not worth it. And I think here in my climate, I think about 10 to 15% of my varieties, 10 to 15% of my trees should be late varieties. Um, I mean, regarding early varieties and mid-season varieties and late varieties, I, I've kind of figured out, at least to my own preferences, 10 to 15 only should be late varieties. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing right now, is just moving them all in here. I thought some of you guys would be interested to know. Um, and these will just continue to ripen probably over the next two months. Uh, believe it or not, I've only harvested one fig off of my Black Madeira UC Davis thus far. This is the second one. Both of them have split so far, so that's not really that great of a sign of what's to come. But because it's drier in here, because we have uh, no rain hitting these figs, also the soil, I'm not going to be watering these either, probably. Um, or very, very little. We'll take the trash bags off. We'll put the mulch down on top of the soil. Uh, you know, point is, is that these have about two months left of being in this location for all of these figs to ripen. It's about a two month ripening window harvest period. And um, as soon as that two months go by, on December 1st, on average, these trees will be hopefully out of here, done fruiting. Um, maybe I can, maybe they can even start dropping their leaves in December or late November when the temperatures really start to cool down. Cause this greenhouse isn't doing a whole lot. Um, at least at nighttime, you know, this is only providing maybe three or four degrees from the difference of outside. So unless I heat this thing, it's not really doing anything. And these trees will go dormant. It will be a slower process. We do want them to get hit with frost which is not going to happen with these, but it is what it is. I want to get this fruit. Uh, and then again, once I, like I said, sometime in December, December 1st, on average, 
everything will go in here. All the all the trees that are dormant that were on the patio will be placed in here, stacked up. We're gonna try to thin this out, do this in an orderly way. I'll show you guys kind of how that's all gonna work out, what the strategy is for this year. And that's about it. We also have our trees in here that were planted. This is a capra fig, two different varieties. And I also have down in here, this is a Colonel Littmans. And then I also have, you know, in the back, a panache and a Coldenon Blanc. And hopefully these trees will go dormant just as easily as these um, sometime by December 1st. We'll pack everything in here and it will all be done. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll capture that on film for you guys. And that's it. So I just wanted to include you guys what I'm doing, how it's all working out. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, take care, guys.